Hey guys, let's talk about S22 Ultra. Here I also have S21 Ultra and I have Z Fold 3. Now I'm gonna do something different about this video, just shoot it one shot and push it to YouTube. Um, my point of this video is to provide some of the answers for those of you who are considering upgrading to S22 Ultra. First, I'm gonna start off with the Note users. Now, when Samsung decided not to release Note 21 Ultra, especially for me who loves Note line, that was very disappointing. Now, if those of you who do have Note 20 Ultra and you're looking at S22 Ultra thinking if it's worth an upgrade, the answer is yes and no. So if you're that individual who just upgrades every year because that's what you like to do, like me for example, then the answer is yes because S22 Ultra is Note all around. And honestly, I think Samsung should have changed the name to make it Samsung Galaxy SN22 Ultra because it looks like Note 20 Ultra. Uh, it has the S Pen built in. It has those sharp edges that just jab into your palms. <laughs> Very similar experience that I had with Note 20 Ultra. So it is Note all around, but the improvements are very mild. S22 Ultra is slightly faster than Note 20 Ultra because Note 20 Ultra was a great phone all around. So there's very little that they can improve to deliver nowadays. I think we're at to that point where the improvements are so minimal that the only way you should be upgrading if your phone broke or you just like to upgrade. It also depends how old your phone is. Uh, because the support of providing future updates, that's also something you need to consider. But it still does the same capabilities that you do on the Note 20 Ultra. Uh, with the Note capabilities and the S Pen usage, it still has the same thing. Honestly, S22 Ultra, it is slightly faster than Note 20 Ultra. But it's not one of those where you should just go and spend extra money to buy a 22 Ultra. The speed difference is very minimal, in my opinion. Camera is slightly better than Note 20 Ultra. It's a bit sharper than Note 20 Ultra as far as the, the images itself comparing to both. Uh, but that's pretty much it as far as the improvements. And this also refers to the significant speed, which is not that much. But for me, for example, the significant change is the Samsung keyboard. One of the issues that I had with Note 20 Ultra was the lag, delay, and stutter in the Samsung keyboard. It just couldn't keep up with my fast typing skills. After a while, I would have to download Gboard, but then go back to the Samsung keyboard just because I like the cursor capability, like for example, like the iPhone keyboard offers. Then I would get annoyed, then go back to the Gboard, and it would be back and forth until I just stopped using the device all completely. Also, a small change here, you do have the Google News. As far as on Note 20 Ultra, you had that Samsung feed. So if that is important for you, S22 Ultra has that. But again, it's not one of those things that you should just go in, spend extra money just because of that, because you could just download the app and save yourself money. So that's basically the difference between uh, Note 20 Ultra and the S22 Ultra. Speaker is the same in my opinion. Battery on Note 20 Ultra was absolutely amazing. I was, I loved how good the battery on Note 20 Ultra was. It just lasted the whole day with no issues. Same thing over here. Um, I think slightly improvements over face uh, facing camera. The front camera, it's a little bit sharper because on Note 20 Ultra, I saw the graining there. Uh, the edges of your outline of uh, individuals was a little bit fuzzy. It's slightly improved if you hear you still have that fuzziness on S22 Ultra, but it's slightly better. So hopefully that answers for those of you who are considering jumping from the Note 20 Ultra. Also, do consider the fact that uh, Note 20 Ultra has a memory card slot. This does not. So if you are who takes your memory card and puts it in the computer, it's easier that way, then you're definitely going to use that capability over here because here 
the storage is built in so if you need extra storage you need to spend extra money to get higher storage capabilities and then you have to rely on cloud services as far as transferring things so internet is important and um, that's basically it now if you are s21 ultra user or z4 3 let's start with s21 ultra now in my opinion for 2021 s21 ultra i think was the best release in the android world here i have uh pixel 6 pro uh very disappointed with that phone i think it's the worst release of 2021 um that's just my opinion if you love pixel 6 pro well good for you i personally dislike that there's a lot of things i dislike about this phone and it's the least device that i use nowadays now s21 ultra was surprising because usually s line had more issues than a note line but s21 ultra samsung was staying on top of it the updates were pretty often uh, there wasn't much issues with it the battery is great um, the curvature is much more comfortable to hold in your hand um, but if you need to have the s pen Unfortunately, here you have to carry it extra with you. Same thing as Z Fold 3. It just doesn't come built in. Here I have um, the S Pen Pro, which, for example, if I want to use it uh, with S21 Ultra, it works. But you have to carry it extra. Um, here I have, I switched it to the Fold. I could use it with Z, uh, Z Fold 3. But then again, you have to carry it extra. And I'm going to cover differences between Fold 3 and S22 Ultra, I think, more in details because this phone came out not that long ago. So battery, comparable. The speed is very comparable. It's not something that I would just say go out there and spend your money to upgrade from S21 Ultra to S22 Ultra. The difference, I think, is the built-in S Pen. That is a huge improvement for those of you, for example, on the go and you're always signing documents or if you are on lectures and you need something that you need to jot down. Trust me, during my school days, there were a lot of people who were using notes, phones for their schoolwork. They would literally just sit there and type and write and things like that. So the benefit of using S Pen Pro, you could use it on S21 Ultra, but it does not work on s22 ultra which i'm disappointed because this pen is not cheap and i would have liked to use it on s22 ultra i get it there's an s pen that comes built in but it's a it's a thin pen this is much more comfortable to use you could just go and you type and write with it so i would have loved to have the capabilities on it samsung please push that upgrade so the camera differences between two um I don't think it's a fact that you should go out there and upgrade. There's very little difference between both. Uh, selfies on S22 is slightly better, slightly better comparing to S21 Ultra. Uh, the form factor, I think it's a little bit wider um, S22 Ultra, and I'm a fan of white phones comparing to S21 Ultra. So like I said, again, the pen, no pen. I think those are the two big differences. The camera bump, it's there, uh, which is um, annoying. <sighs> Let me get rid of this, which is annoying. Uh, but there's no camera bump here. But trust me, it picks up dust around the cameras like there is no tomorrow. And honestly, I have to uh, constantly clean around the cameras to get rid of that dust. So... I don't think there's much difference between um, these two phones. Uh, the new processor in it, it's very slightly improved. Keyboard, uh, still, I love keyboard in S22 Ultra. For me, it would be one of the things that I would go and buy S22 Ultra over S21 Ultra just because the keyboard on S22 Ultra is that perfect. It does not stutter. And that's for those of you who like to type fast. Generally, my primary device is always iPhone 13 Pro Max just because of the ecosystem. The day that Apple 
releases that ecosystem to be used on Android as well, I will <laughs> gladly make uh, Samsung to be my primary device just because I love the freedom that iPhone and iPads lack. So the keyboard on this device is definitely much improved. It's still fast, it's still fast. Um, the display uh, is slightly, slightly improved. But honestly, like right now I have them at the max brightness. Um, and I generally only have it right now just for the video. But for personal use, I usually make it like a 75% because it's too bright in the dark. It's obnoxiously bright in the dark. It like lights up the whole room. And after a while, your eyes do get um, uncomfortable. Now, the brightness, it is important, for example, for HDR content videos because the HDR videos just look so much better when the display itself is brighter. But there are super bright both of them so i don't think it's worth of you know dumping s21 ultra for s22 ultra just for those changes um they're both 5g devices and the speeds on both of them are amazing the battery uh the battery on both of them is also amazing um there's really not much different besides having the S Pen built in and the form factor. So it's a give and take or give and take away because those sharp edges are uncomfortable. It does jab into your palms frequently and it's uncomfortable to hold it for a long time, which here it's much more comfortable because of all those corner edges. Uh, so I think those are the biggest difference in between those two. Now, if you're an individual who just upgrades every year, ignore this video, uh, just go out and just buy it because like me, for example, I upgrade every year. It doesn't matter what people say unless, for example, that note that was blowing up on everybody, then it's something to consider. But as far as like major changes or if it's worth upgrading for those of you who do every year upgrades, that really doesn't matter. You're still gonna go out and buy it. And overall, I think the improvements for me on S22 Ultra over S21 Ultra, even though they're very slight, it's still worth it because of the keyboard. The keyboard on S22 Ultra is absolutely amazing. Like I've been reading in the news, Samsung really spent time into that keyboard with the order correct and the speed. And trust me, it's for me, it's noticeable. Now let's talk about Z Fold 3. Now this phone came out not that long ago and it is my favorite device because of the size of the display. It's much more convenient to read stuff on it, but the display is an issue. And I don't make it my primary device, just simply the fact that this display is very fragile. For those of you who are following the forums, like on Reddit, for example, or if you're watching videos, this display spontaneously just breaks on its own. Uh, so I don't think it could handle regular daily use. I'm not even willing to try because with the way of responses from Samsung in order to fix this display, it's just a headache. It's not cheap. You have to go back and forth before they change it and it's just too much and then with um, the insurances that come with it that's just a headache so i tend to not use it on a daily basis only sometimes also the video there are people saying that oh you know when you open and close device you shouldn't touch your display you should touch the edges of it and that could be the reason why the displays are cracking but it's inconvenient and then if you're considering this this phone with taxes i live in new york city so with taxes it comes out to be almost $2,000. So it's a very big investment for a lot of people out there. So having to worry that your phone could crack one day and then you have to deal with it, it's it's a headache. And I know a lot of people are just not gonna be looking into it. And I, and I see a lot of people are looking to switch from Z Fold 3 to S22 Ultra, simply the fact that of the fragility of this display. I think if Samsung offered a better response as far as like fixing the issues of display, then it would be easily worth of having as a primary device just because of the form factor. Now the camera, 
100% the S22 Ultra just wins. The cameras on S2 on uh, Z Fold 3 are no way at the level of competing S22 Ultra. The front camera over here, uh, it's it's. I'm just trying to come up with the with the proper word to say, but I would say it's garbage. Yep, the right word is garbage. It's fuzzy. The post processing is slow. It reminds me of cameras that were from 10 years ago. Uh, I get it's a new technology as far as to provide that seamless whole display experience, which it's perfect. But honestly speaking, I never ever use this camera because the results are absolutely garbage. They're not good for video calls. They're not good for Zoom meetings, none of that. So I ended up not using it. So in the long run, I tr I'm trying to remember if I even took pictures with Z Fold through just because it's not something I want to do. Even the main cameras are in no way competition to S21 Ultra and S22 Ultra. So for me, this is more for entertainment as far as watching movies, reading books, um, if I don't have my Kindle with me. So that's basically it. Um, the display itself, I don't know if you ever had the fold. I'm looking at it from the side. It's very glossy. It looks plasticky versus this, which is very beautiful. It looks like a picture that you're looking at. It, it You know, I'm just shocked that this is actually a glass producing display. Samsung has always been the best when it comes to providing um, displays. I remember when the Galaxy One came out and I was... And it, it was so hard to get at that point too because first it was released internationally and then it came to US and it was uh, S1, I think it was Galaxy S1 and then S2. The displays were beautiful. So you, the Samsung never fails to deliver um, with their displays. So if display is something for you to consider, all three of them have amazing displays. Um, the only thing is I would say if out of four devices, like for example, the Note 20 Ultra and S21 Ultra, Z Fold 3, S22 Ultra, the best overall would be S22 Ultra. That's for those of you who like to upgrade yearly. Now, for financial purpose, they're all still good. The issue with me, like I said, with, um, with Z Fold through the uh, Z Fold three that it's fragile. The battery is great on it. The speakers, the speakers on S twenty two Ultra is better. Somehow the speakers on Z Fold three are not as full when it's compared to S twenty two Ultra. Let me just give you a sample. Now the volume is at the fullest. Let's see which one. Let's do this one. <laughs> S22 Ultra. And finally, S21 Ultra.
actually, now that I'm comparing three side by side, S21 Ultra, the sound is slightly better. It's fuller and louder than S22 Ultra. Out of all three, the loudest one is um, Z Fold 3. But the clarity is better in S21 Ultra. Now, it's not significant, uh, like huge difference between three. It's if I had to pick something, if I had to pick like something, S21 Ultra delivers better sound overall. As far as display, like I said there, all three beautiful displays, this being the brightest, um, it looks like a picture that you're looking at versus this looks more plasticky. Like looking from the side of it, you could see that it's plastic. It looks like a stretched out uh, ceram wrap. That's the best explanation I would give. Uh, but when you're comparing um, S21 Ultra and no um, S22 Ultra, the differences in these displays aren't so significant. So again, if you're considering of upgrading between this three, hopefully this provide an answer. One thing I also want to say that S22 Ultra and Z Fold 3, the brightness of this display is a lot better. Like, I don't know if you can see it on your end, it's a little bit darker here and the redness aren't as red as it is here. But there's a lot of pluses to Z Fold 3 over S22 Ultra. So they all have their own winnings within this three. Um, but I would say S22 Ultra, the biggest improvement is having that S Pen built in, especially for those of you who are Note line followers. That having that S Pen built in is absolutely joy instead of needing to carry that extra pen with you needing to worry if you lost it or not needing to have this for example casing for the s pen it's just it's in there it's safely in there the problem i would say for me the pen is too thin and it's not as comfortable to use as for example like this one which is more as a realistic uh pen that you could use and overall it's just much more comfortable to have this with you uh, hopefully that provided some of the answers. If you have questions, please post below. I've been using S21 Ultra from day it was released and Z Fold 3 from day it was released. I also have Z Fold 2. Uh, if that's something you consider uh, from buying it because it's already over a year old and it's cheaper. Uh, if you are considering of getting um, Pixel 6 Pro and you have some questions, not something I would say would be positive my responses because I'm just not a fan of Pixel 6 Pro. Um, I think it's my worst purchase out of 2021 year, but I bought all of them with my own money. Nothing is donated or not even donation, what is it? Uh, provided by the company for reviews. This is just my personal opinion. So thanks for watching. Like I said, post comments below and I'm usually pretty fast at responding all the questions. Thank you.